Hello, my loves. How are you guys today? My name is Westesis. Thank you for visiting my channel. For personal bookings, you can email me at westesis222 at gmail.com. I would love to get into your personal situations from there. Make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And also, thank you for visiting my channel. Hopefully, you love it here. All right, you guys. So, I know it's very late at night. It's like... It's possibly like, what, 11 when I'm recording this? <laughs> it might be like 12, 12, 30 when I upload it, right? It's very late at night, but they were telling me to do a collective message because I haven't been here in a couple days. In all honesty, um, I've been so busy doing personals, so yeah. Also, there was a fucking power outage as well. <laughs> I don't think I told you guys that. Yeah, there was a power outage, y'all. Um, For like, what, two days? Yeah, yeah. It kept going on and off, on and off, on and off. Yeah, it was it was horrible. I hated it. Anyways, but we back now. Anyways, let's start, you guys. So like I was saying, um, I got this collective message that I was hearing, you guys. First of all, they were telling me that, telling me that if you're going to be changing up the way you look, make sure that you look cute or handsome. I don't know. Someone here could be getting some new piercings, new tattoos, hair dye, switching up the look of something. Take that how it resonates, right? Also, what they were telling me, you guys, is that they're saying that God himself, your spirit guides, your ancestors will send a missile straight straight through someone's plan. That's what they were telling me. God will blow up someone's whole operation. I don't know what their operation is. I don't know what they're doing, but obviously it would be something to either go against you, harm you, not have your best interests, you know? So yeah, that's what they were telling me, you guys. God will send a, a missile straight through it. Um, so protection, heavy, heavy protection out here, you guys. Take this how it resonates, right? Heavy, heavy, heavy protection. So let's start. Let's see what's happening for the collective message. I'm going to be using this tarot deck. I haven't, I don't really use this deck. I got a lot of decks that I don't use. So we're going to be using the Tarot of Mystical Moments for clarification. We're going to be using this deck as oracle cards, all right? So let's see. Let's pull... Let's pull two. Let's pull one. Yeah, let's pull one. Let's start with one. Give me one oracle message for the collective message, please, Spirit, Sun, Rising, and Venus. I have already shuffled my cards, blessed my cards, and blessed my reading. Like I said before, make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Give me one oracle message, please, Spirit. What is the collective message? Give me some energy for the collective message. All right, we got the King of Pentacles coming out. This is the individual that feels on top of the world. So someone here feels, yes. So someone here feels um like collected that they could dethrone you. That's the word that I'm hearing out here. That's my on top of the world card. As you can see, he's on top of these antlers. And you, you can obviously see those coins right there. This is the King of Pentacles. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, right? Um, They're saying here that this person feels um on top of the world. We all know that, um, you know, biblically, right, that um, the devil was kicked out of heaven because he felt he was better, you know, than heaven, right? So he created his own hell, right? So go against heaven. This is how someone feels about you, collective. That's what they're saying here. You could have kicked this person out of your life. You could have told this person, I really don't want shit to do with you, you know? So, yeah, someone here feels here that they have to dethrone you. It's their mission to dethrone you. So if you're the empress, you're the emperor, this person is coming to attack. That's what they're saying here. Yes, we got the King of Pentacles coming out. Let's clarify that King of Pentacles. I'm going to be using the Dream Away Tarot deck. Clear for this King of Pentacles, please, this person that feels like they're on top of the world here. We got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse coming out. Definitely collective. This could, this could be an individual that feels slighted by you. This could be an old lover, ex-lover. I'm also hearing a fling, right? <clears throat> Yes, this is definitely someone here that feels slighted by you. This is definitely someone here that feels, um, what's the correct word, spirit? Rejected. Thank you. They feel rejected by you. This could be someone here that you turned down. This could be someone here that you never even fucking dated, right? But they feel rejected by you. They feel played, um, dismissed by you. So it's their mission to, to um, crash your world down. Yeah, because they feel, they feel more powerful to you didn't you this could be someone here that here that does not like the word no right this person does not like the like when people tell them no i don't want to do that get away from 
me. I don't know, right? This feels like a predator. <laughs> That's what they're saying, collective. This feels like a predator, man or woman. Queen of Pentacles coming out in reverse. Clarify this, King of Pentacles, please. Clarify the individual that feels on top of the world. We have a card that fell. What is this? The magician card in reverse. It fell. I'm going to put it back, though. Clear for this King of Pentacles. Clear for the individual that feels on top of the world here. You know what they're telling me, um, you guys? This could definitely be someone here that you were, you were once committed to. This, this is why you left this person. This person could be controlling. This person could be a fucking narcissist, right? Um, definitely. This person, if this person isn't happy with the outcome, then you can't be happy with the outcome. I'm also hearing custody um, battle here. Yeah, you can have children with this person. Play for this King of Pentacles here. We got the Queen of Cups coming out. Yes, you could be a loving woman or a loving man collective, right? With the Queen of Cups coming out here, you you take care of your family. You could have a took you could have took a leap of faith away from this person with the Fool card coming out with the Lovers card in reverse Gemini energy here. This is an individual that sends threats. Some of you are sending threats your way. I don't like this person already. Yes, because this person feels like it's their mission. It's their operation to dethrone you. If you were once the Queen of Pentacles, the Empress, the King of Pentacles, right? If you were once this individual or you, they're telling me you are this individual, this person feels the need to like make sure that you don't have any of that anymore. This could be an individual that's calling your job, making sure to get you fired or trying to get you fired. This is definitely an individual with authority. This could be a judge. This could be a police officer. This could be someone here that works for the ju judicial um, system, right? Um, definitely, that's what I'm getting here, you guys. Someone here that feels like they're on top of the world. You can't tell this person shit. You can't tell this person anything. They feel like here that um, they possibly own you, right? They could feel here, here that they possibly own you or that you owe them something, right? This could be an individual that feels like, like, like you know, oh, divine master when divine feminine you owe me and since you don't want to pay up i'm going to make your world crash down or whatever the case could be mm -mm, mm -mm. first of all i just want to say this they got the wrong motherfucking idea if they think <laughs> that they have the um fucking power to do this right this motherfucker is only the king of pentacles the king of pentacles right that's all they are is the king of pentacles so this person they they buy their way through shit right they buy their way through their job through their house through their career um yes this is an individual that could buy their way through shit so this person possibly have never been told no yeah they quite possibly have never been told no is what they're saying here <clears throat> <laughs> you know what I'm hearing, you guys? I'm hearing, um, these cards are so huge. They're just flying everywhere. But I'm hearing, you guys, um, right plan, wrong bitch. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Right plan, wrong bitch. I have two feminine cards out here. I had the Queen of Pentacles reverse with the Queen of Cups coming out here. So you could definitely be a woman watching that has this, um, uh, fucking ex that feels that he's superior than who I don't, I don't fucking know, than fucking Gandhi, right? I don't know. All right, but this motherfucker crazy, and they're fucking living in La La Land. Give me another one next to this King of Pentacles, please. One more orb card next to this King of Pentacles, please. What is this? The Three of Swords. Yeah, I told you guys. I told you. Look at this. The King of Pentacles with the Three of Swords. This is definitely someone here that's hurt. They feel betrayed. They feel backstabbed by you. They feel like, um, I keep hearing that this person feels like that you owe them something. So I don't know what this person did for you, Collective. I don't know what they went out their fucking way to do, whatever the case could be. This person could feel like here that they have invested a lot into you with the King of Pentacles coming out here. They're, they're possibly saying to people like oh i invested a lot into a collective i invested a lot into the relationship i invested money time effort whatever the case could be and maybe it didn't it didn't work out because this person is fucking they're they saying narcissist but they're also saying manipulative this person only did all that shit collective so they gave you things brought you gifts brought you jewelry fed you took you out on dates they did all that shit to throw it back in your motherfucking face so basically this person before i'm going to say when this person met you 
they had this plan from the start. I wanted to say before they met you. If Yeah, because I was going to say before they met you. So that means this person does this to every fucking body. Um, everyone they dated have encountered this type of energy from them. You know, to destroy people, whatever the case could be. Everyone that they have dated, talked to, fucked on, I don't know, flinged, right? Take this how it resonates, right? Everyone that they have dated has felt this way towards them, right? Or they have felt this way towards a, um, those individuals. Yeah, this is a, um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that as a woman and possibly even as a man, but I'm a woman, right? I'm pretty sure as a woman, we've all run into this guy before. We've all run into fucking Tom, right? We all had a fucking Tom, a fucking Jerry before. <laughs> that person that feels like, you know, you owe me something, right? We all ran into that type of guy before. And if, and if you don't give it up or do what they say or oblige by their rules, they play this fucking sick twisted game yeah definitely someone out here is playing a fucking sweet a, a sick twisted game with you <clears throat> yeah the death card <sighs> someone i was think i was hearing that earlier um someone's name could be lady or as people call you lady that could be your nickname a family name or something a lady is what they're saying let's get some more um tarot who next is King of Pentacles, Three of Swords? What is this? Magician card coming out with Temperance. Magician with Temperance coming out. That's my healing card. The Temperance card is like healing energies, right? Multiple energies because there's two cups. Maybe even three cups because there's a cup, a cup in this Magician card too. Yeah, we got the Magician coming out, you guys. Magician with the um, Temperance card. It feels like here that you're not really... <laughs> okay. <laughs> There, this is giving me Dr. Doofusmurts. Yeah, fucking Dr. Doofusmurts. If you watch Penny, it's a fur, right? But this is giving me collective, like, you know, you should have no worries. I don't feel like you should have no worries at all. If this motherfucker want to crash out, let him do it, <laughs> right? If they want to crash out and, you know, oh, woe is fucking me and I need vengeance or whatever the case could be, let they ass do it. Because what's going to happen is that this person, they're going to run into the right motherfucking one. And you might be the right motherfucking one collective, definitely. Um, they're telling me here that collective, if this person has hurt you in the past, rather you're a man or a woman, your tears mean something. I don't know. All right. But that's what they're saying here. They're, they're telling me that with this temperance card, your tears mean something. So I don't know if you guys was uh, crying, crying over this or saying, why, why is this person acting crazy? Why is this individual out to get me? Why are they spreading lies about me? Whatever the case could be, this could have hurt your feelings. This could have, you know. Um, I'm hearing setback, take the hand resonates, right? This could have set you back some type of way, shape, or form. But I'm hearing here, if this person has made you cry some type of way, shape, or form, collective, rather, um, I'm hearing an, a distraught way. If this person has made you cry, this person got another motherfucking thing coming. Your tears mean something. So if, if they're saying that you may not be an emotional person, if they're saying that, you not you not you may not be no crybaby ass motherfucker if they're saying that collective. So when you cry, it means something. When someone hurts you, it means something. Um for your swords out here. <clears throat> Let's see. We got the seven of cups coming out. We got the five of pentacles coming out. I'm hearing Kanye West. How could you be so heartless? Yeah, we all we all know how Kanye West get. Yeah. <laughs> how could you be so heartless? <clears throat> We got the seven of cups, five of pentacles, the world card. So, yeah, so they're telling me, Collective, when this person first laid eyes on you, when they first met you, rather you're a man or a woman, right? When they first met you, when they first laid their eyes on you, they already had this plan in motion um, to do things for you, to court you, to make you feel special some way, shape, or form, only to throw it back in your face or only to say, hey, you fucking owe me, right? Or to spaz the fuck out, crash the fuck out, right? They had this plan already set in stone. The seven of the cups ahead the seven of cups like my genie card that's also my um you could have whatever you like card so that's what this person was telling you you could have whatever you like right that's what this person was telling you rather you accept it did not accept it they were telling you this right but that turned into the five of pentacles the five of pentacles is like you know 
that's being kicked to the curb in all honesty in the upright yeah if it was in reverse i'd be like oh well collective you probably left this person that i know this is kicked to the curb with the world card out here you possibly kicked this motherfucker to the curb you know what they're telling me collective um they're telling me um same spirit different vessel so you could have kicked this motherfucker to the curb because you could have saw qualities in this person that reminded you of someone else, right? Same spirit, different vessel. So you got you got out of dodge before this shit, you know, could even go left e even more. But it feels like it. This person, they crashing out. Look, they crashing the fuck out. Because after the five of, five of Pentacles comes the world card. I want to clarify some things. Let's see, what deck should I use? Hmm. We can use the gypsies. Let's do gypsies. I always use gypsies, but they give me more clarification. <laughs> Pull on the five of pentacles with the world card. What's this five of pentacles? Yeah, look what came out. Sorrow with frivolity. This could definitely be someone from your past collective. This person, they're mad that you're glowing up. Moving on up. Yeah, to the east side. They're mad that you're glowing the fuck up. This person could be watching you from a distance. Privacy is, is my, um, first I was a caterpillar, now I'm a butterfly, right, with the world card coming out here. So basically, when you ended the relationship with this person, when you got rid of this person, or vice versa, when they got rid of you, um, someone out here glowed up, or someone out here started feeling better. Let's not even say glowed up, because this could have been three fucking weeks ago. You just started feeling better. Once you got rid of this person, got this person out your presence, whatever the case could be. Give me three my cards for King of Pentacles for your swords. The Page of Pentacles in reverse, King of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they're crashing out real bad. <laughs> the King of Swords in reverse, that's the individual that does not think. Yeah, with the Devil card in reverse. Page of Pentacles in reverse, King of Swords in reverse, Devil card in reverse. Pull on this Page of Pentacles in reverse. With the Room card. With Soldier. <clears throat> I don't want to be vulgar, but what they're saying here is that, um, and take this how it resonates, right? <laughs> I don't want to be vulgar, but what they're, what they're saying here is that this person's best quality was in the bedroom. That's what they're saying. This person's best quality was in the bedroom. That's the, that's where they were best at. And that's possibly what they were giving you, Collective. Someone here could feel like here that you were using them for sexual pleasure. Or this is how you, you was feeling about someone, right? This is my breadcrumby energy. With the Page of Pentacles in reverse coming out, that's all this individual was giving. If they were giving anything else, possibly you um accepted, possibly you did not accept, right? Um, This feels like offers. So basically, Collective, it's a bitter motherfucker out here. And since they bitter, they want to ruin something for you. I don't feel like it's going to work, though. It's kind of, it's pointless. That's what they're saying. It's pointless. I don't think it's going to work. I feel like it, this motherfucker really didn't give you shit. They keep saying, oh, I gave you something. I gave you something. I gave you something. I don't see shit. <laughs> Honestly. I don't see nothing. Uh, I see the five, five of pentacles, page pentacles in reverse. Queen of pentacles in reverse. Like, I don't really see shit that they gave you. So, what is it that this person thinks that you owe them? I don't... I told you this could be a fucking predator. And when I say predator, you guys, I don't I don't mean sexual predator. Could be. Right? F could fucking be. But I don't really mean that. I mean a predator in, in a sense of like a... Uh, a moth to a flame. It's something about your light, right? Um, usually when you're a divine masculine, divine feminine, it's very hard for people to leave you the fuck alone. I don't know if you guys have realized that as divine beings, but I have been realizing that for a long, very long time. It's very hard for people to leave you the fuck alone, right? So this could be one of those situations where you... Where you met someone a month ago, two months ago, three months ago, and it just did not go no fucking where. No hard feelings, right? No hard feelings. It did not go nowhere. That's fine. That's dandy. Let's move on with our lives. But for some reason, collective, this individual feels like, oh, well, I gave them the best parts of my motherfucking life, right? And they, <laughs> I don't know, right? Um, I'm all to a flame. I'm all to a fucking flame. Let's move on. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It is. Let's see. Oh, I haven't heard that name in a long time. You're telling me Gossip Boy, but I haven't heard the name in a long time. 
Yeah, this person could be running gossip about you. Maybe you slept with this person collective, right? Take this how it resonates. Maybe you possibly slept with this person, got in bed with this person, who was hooking up with this person. This person may go, go around spreading gossip about you. Mm-hmm. Telling everyone that they slept with you or something. Divine masculine. Yeah, I'm hearing divine masculine. That could resonate for you, divine masculine. Yeah. <laughs> We got the high priestess coming out. Um, she like she's hiding behind those curtains, like she's just peeking, peeking around the corner of those curtains. Um, the high priestess coming out, Pisces, Cancer energy. Um, yeah, they said that could be for you, divine master. Some woman could be going around saying that you slept with her. Yeah. I'm hearing head over heels. <laughs> Take that how it resonates. <laughs> um, yeah, the high priestess coming out. The high priestess is the foreshadower. She knows what's going to happen before it even fucking happens, right? That's what that's what the high priestess is. She knows, you know, what's coming towards her, what's around her. Like she she knows energy very very well, right? Basically, like a mind reader in some sort. You put her with that queen of swords, unstoppable. Give me some energy for the high priestess, please. Who wants this high priestess, please? For a collective, we got the King of Wands in reverse. In reverse, with the Justice card in reverse. I'm hearing bad boys, bad boys. I don't know why I'm hearing that. This could be a bad boy. You could have known better collective, a bad girl, bad boy. So this this is someone out here that doesn't have the best reputation in general. I'm telling you, collective, this person does not have a good reputation. They do this shit to everybody. When, when they fuck somebody, they fall head over heels in love. That's for you, divine masculine, the emperor at the bottom of the motherfucking deck. When they have sex with somebody, that they, they fall head over heels in love, um, men or women. When they get with someone, and when something doesn't work out with someone, they tarnish that person's name. When this person is hurt, they start taking shit out on the person that wanted to leave or walk way it happens with everybody with this individual this person has a reputation for doing this shit or this person has a fucked up reputation in general right justice card in reverse <clears throat> yeah this is a victim yeah look high priestess came out again this is a victim this person has a victim mentality Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this might get my shit in go card. Yes, collective. You could definitely be running the fuck away from this individual. They're crazy. They're fucking crazy. Um, yeah, they're crazy. You could definitely be running the fuck away from this person. Seven of Pentacles coming out like, nah, bitch, I got to go. Um, you doing too much at too little. Yeah, they're doing too much at too little of a fucking time, collective. Someone out here is, um... I don't know, this devil card looking at me, but it's in reverse. So this person could be hiding the crazy side, in all honesty. This person could be on medication, could take pills, um, could be bipolar, I don't know, right? But this individual, they do this shit to everybody. I'm hearing everyone has a story about this person. <laughs> Put one on this King of Wands in reverse. Ooh. We got the Lord card coming out. Yeah, I told you. I said that said this in the beginning. We got the Lord card coming out with Spirit God coming out. Um, servant card. This is the individual that God is going to stop. I don't know what their plan is. We do have the high priestess out here. The high priestess, like I said, is the foreshadower. I don't know what their plan is, what their motive is, what they um, plan to do, say, to get you on this spiral-ass energy, to get you like them, basically. This person wants you to spiral out like them. If, if their feelings is hurt, they're going to try to make a make a way to get your feelings to be hurt too, collective. Yeah. So if you hurt this person's feelings, um, this motherfucker is going to come back with a gotcha, basically. They're trying to come back with a gotcha moment if you hurt this person's feelings. And you might not even know if you hurt this person or not. <laughs> We all seen those people that uh they be like, oh, it's cool. No, it's fine. It's cool. You know, you know, no hard feelings. And then they be mad as fuck like a day or two later or a week later. They don't fuck with you no more after they say it was cool. This one of those people, right? This one of those people. Let's see. Who on that says seven of pentacles here? The nine of pentacles. It feel like money. I told you. I told you, I said, they kept saying they gave you some. They kept saying they giving you shit. They took you here. They took you there. They kept, they keep seeing this shit. But it feels like to me that they were breadcrumbing you. What it really feels like here, Collective, that this motherfucker could really be upset because you don't need them. You're the seven of pentacles with the nine of pentacles with the high priestess, right? With the high priestess. 
So there could be a fraudulent ass King of Wands around, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a fraudulent ass Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, right? Someone here that feels like uh they're on top of the world. This is the type, this is the type of motherfucker that feel like they could trick um police and shit. We, we all seen those people. What if like they could get away with a crime or some shit like that? Be aware of this crazy motherfucker. Mm-mm. Pull next to Mind of Pentacles. <clears throat> Eight of Swords in reverse coming out. So yeah, you're mentally aware of this collective, Mind of Wands. Yeah, you're watching your back. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, I told you the high priestess, she's the foreshadower. So you could have possibly already known that this motherfucker was crazy, up to no good, uh, has some type of vengeance on their mind, revenge on them on their mind, right? Because vengeance is like, you know, when you're when you're the protagonist, revenge is when you're the antagonist, right? So yeah, this person could have some type of revenge on their mind. You could have already known that, like you've seen that shit in their eyes type shit, right? So you're mentally clear of this. You're mentally aware of this. You're not, you know, in no type of fucking um, loop or, you know, rose-colored glasses energy about this in individual. You're not. Um, you got you got away when you should have got away, collective. Seven of Pentacles out here. Get my shit and go with the Nine of Wands. You're watching your back from this person. Look, the Nine of wants she keeps looking behind her or he whatever right keeps looking behind them watching their back so yeah it's a backstabber out here that's what they're saying this person's a backstabber pull on the knight of wands yeah you're waiting constancy with gift yeah motherfucker if you gonna take something from me if you're gonna ruin something for me motherfucker i'll be waiting said divine feminine divine masculine motherfucker i'll be waiting <laughs> yeah so you're waiting for this individual you're um this feels like a spiritual war and we get spiritual wars all the time, collective. We really do. Um, with little, little shit. Little people. People that, you know, will literally flick their ass with our fucking fingers, right? Uh, we get spiritual wars all the time. Spiritual courthouse at the bottom of the deck here. When all the spirit guys, ancestors link up to determine someone's faith. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like you're you're prepared, collective, on a physical level, mental level, and on the spiritual level, your spirit guys are prepared too. We have a spirit guide card out here with the lower card. That's my God card. With spiritual courthouse, they're prepared too. So yeah, so they're the ones that told you that someone out here was unspiteful or was up to no good. Yeah, they keep saying it's a backstabber. This is someone here that um we possibly I'm just saying possibly doesn't have to be the real thing, right? For example, you could have told this person um, personal things about you. Or like I said, you could have slept with this person, got in this person's bedroom, stayed at this person's house, they, they stayed at your house, whatever the case could be. This person, they go and start telling this shit. They do. Especially if it's a woman, divine masculine. Now, divine feminine, it's a petty ass man out here. I feel like I feel like he gonna start telling shit too. He a petty ass man though. This a bitch, <laughs> right? Divine feminine, but divine masculine, it's a woman that starts telling it all. Oh, um, she could have taken pictures of you while you were asleep, all type of shit. That's what they're saying. Yeah, this some motherfucker that take pictures of you while you sleep. <laughs> yes, collective. Give me some more energy, please. Actually, no. Let's pull another oracle. Who on next to this high priestess, please, for a collective sun, moon, rising, and Venus? Who on next? Okay, that's too many. That's too many. <laughs> Let's shuffle again. Who on next to this high priestess, please? The Ace of Wands coming out. That's my Breath of Fresh Air card. You see that sunflower? You know they, how they say that um, plants and flowers always give good oxygen? So yeah, my Breath of Fresh Air, Ace of Wands. It's also my Leap of Faith card, my new beginning card. New passionate beginning, right? So that could be what this person is afraid of. That's That could be the reason why they're trying to ruin some shit for you, collective. Um, And this could... Listen. This does not have to be someone that you've known for years. This feel like a motherfucker that you've known possibly for a couple months. <laughs> I say a year, at, a, a year at most. A year at most. Right? But a couple months, couple weeks, right? A little fling, little dates, whatever the case could be. Um, This person... 
it's giving cuckoo for cocoa puffs honestly i'm being i'm being honest it, in this car she don't look like she all the way there she look like she's refreshed yeah but she like that she be daydreaming and all type of shit so yes divine mask i'm talking to you right there is definitely a woman out here divine mask that was daydreaming about you daydreaming about what y'all was gonna be whatever the case could be divine masculine you too divine feminine right but for some reason they're they're calling divine masculine's name right but um you too though divine feminine there's someone out here that wanted to do um the long game thing with you but i feel like it, this person blew their chance and since they blew their chance um chance they could be possibly you know trying to stop you from getting a new passionate beginning with someone else another individual another partner or just exploring your other options right collective take this how it resonates with the ace of wands out here this person could be addicted to you this person could have an obsession with you um the devil card addictions and obsessions yeah give me four more cards please for the high priestess with the ace of wands here eight of cups reverse coming out not walking away emotionally with the judgment call coming out okay and that's too many just just thank you just give me two more The Ace of Cups coming out. Give me another one. With the Ten of Cups in reverse coming out. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, with Young Woman coming out. <laughs> I was going to say Divine Masculine's name again. With Wife coming out. Mm -hmm. Someone here wanted to do the long game thing with you, Divine Masculine. So he wanted to do, to do the long game with you. They wanted the house, the car, the the kids, you know, the the private schools and shit. They wanted that, and it's hard to let you go. Divine masculine is what you is what they're saying here. I told you, as a divine person. It's hard for people to leave us the fuck alone. It is. As a divine individual, as a divine feminine, divine masculine. And sometimes people are like, oh, the journey is so lonely. It's so lonely. It is lonely, right? It's lonely at the motherfucking top, right? It definitely is. But also, it's very hard for people to leave you the fuck alone. Um, it's a certain type of energy that we bring to, especially people that that's like this, that's possibly low vibrational, broken, don't know they left from their motherfucking right um a daydreamer or things of that nature especially with an individual like this it feels like it that someone here had rose colored glasses on when it came to you not saying that this could not have worked out no but it feels like it that this person they put what do they call it what do they say what's the saying they put their their hand before their mouth or, or their foot i don't know we i don't know the saying but this person put their foot in their mouth basically to the point where it's um it's it's not reconcilable, is what they're saying here. There's no reconciliation here. If this person, yeah, and this, and this is how I know that this person is not on the same vibration as you. Because if this person truly felt like, you know what, I, I'm possibly, you know... In my three of swords energy, this person will have been like, you know what, can I just talk to divine masculine or divine feminine? But instead, they're going the opposite route with things. They're going the revenge way. They're going to putting your business in the streets. They're going to um, making sure that you're, you're not happy. They're calling your job. They're calling your apartment complex. It's like this person, they're going out their way to make sure that you're not happy because they're not happy with the outcome that you two have had. And it, it feel like it that you didn't do anything to this person either. It feel like it that this this individual just wanted it to last longer or wanted to be with you or didn't want you to move on or some bullshit like that. You know, same old fucking sob story. You know, that's what the fuck they wanted. But it's too bad, too sad. It feel like it that, that you're destined for greater. This person put their fucking foot in their mouth when it came to you. It feel like you're like, yeah, possibly something could have worked out. But also, if this person acting like this, God saved you. Your spirit guy saved you if this motherfucker acting like this this person feels like it that they're greater than god and that's a problem i have with this person they feel like it that they're greater than you they're greater than god they feel like it that you owe them you belong to them it feels like some possessive ass narcissist bullshit honestly you guys honestly let's see Let's move on. We 
we want our oracle card. How many minutes we in? 36 minutes. We want our oracle card for collectively, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This person is going to get a rude fucking awakening. That's what they're saying. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I keep hearing the word lady. So you could be calling this person lady. Like, lady, get the fuck off my lawn. Um, lady, what the fuck is wrong with you? Lady, you're acting crazy. You could be calling someone a lady, right, divine masculine? This isn't just a divine masculine reading, really, but they're giving me divine masculine things. So, you know, take it out mates, right? But yeah, you could be calling this person lady. Like, you're a crazy ass lady. Okay, give me one oracle message for the collective, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Give me one oracle message for the collective, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This is the full card, but it's coming out in reverse. This is a garden. See that garden? It's like a snake, too, doesn't it? The full card coming out in reverse. So it's like, you know, being stuck, not taking a leap of faith or being scared to take a leap of faith. Give me some energy for this full card in reverse, please, for collective. Hey there, Delilah, what's it like in New York City? Yeah, you could have moved away from this person. You're a thousand miles away, but girl, tonight you look so pretty. Yes, you do. If you moved away from this, oh, hell no. If you moved away from this person, this motherfucker is still wondering, still watching all of that. Hey there, fucking Delilah. Oh, divine from you got a stalker on your hands. Yeah, you got a stalker on your hands. If someone out here has a stalker on their hands, yeah, hermit at the bottom of the deck, the seeker, um, Virgo energy. If someone out here has a, a stalker on their hands, um, divine feminine, this person has grown their hair out. So this person has um longer hair is what they're saying. So if this person had a beard, they grew their beard out. If this person has short hair, when you stop talking to them, they have longer hair now. Their hair could be to their shoulders or something. Yes, this motherfucker is still watching. You could have moved cities, moved states. I don't fucking know. Take care of resonates. Moved across the body of water. You could have moved schools. You could have, I don't know, fucking moved departments. Yes. Um, this is fucking Hey There Delilah. Two of Wands in reverse coming out yeah two of pinnacles so we got two twos out here two of wands in reverse the two of pinnacles coming out with the nine of swords in reverse with the strength card nah 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 wait till i get my money right yeah the mind from then somebody here playing shit on you girl i don't know what you did to him <laughs> <laughs> that's what they're saying though they said specifically for divine feminine we got some message for divine masculine that came out they're saying you girl someone out here is planning to shit on you or they're planning to um fucking rain on your motherfucking parade but it feels like to me divine feminine you don't got no motherfucking worries uh, I feel like here that you're like, la, 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 like, and that's what it feels like. Nine of swords in reverse with the strength card. Um, someone out here is seeking revenge on you, girl. I don't know what the fuck you done did to him. And I keep saying it feels like nothing. It don't feel like shit. It feels like that you just went your separate fucking ways. Like, okay, motherfucker, I'm done fuck with you. Right? That's what it, that's what it feels like, divine feminine. This motherfucker like, nah, bitch. <laughs> it's not funny. But this motherfucker is crazy. They're like, nah, bitch. This person, this person grew their hair out. That's what they're saying. They grew their hair out. So this was months ago, basically, divine feminine. This was a, a month ago to a year ago. This motherfucker has not gotten over what you said, did, heard. I don't know. <laughs> Put on this two of wands, two of pinnacles. <clears throat> yeah, hope with despair. Mm -hmm. This was someone wishes for you, divine feminine. Sorry, I keep saying divine from the collective. I did mean what I said when I said divine from there, though. But this is what, is what someone wishes for you, collective. Despair. They're hoping that you're in despair because they can't be near you. They can't contact you. They can't be near you. They can't get back together with you. Whatever the case could be, two of wands, universe, two of pinnacles. So they send hate your way. Like I said, this could this could definitely be a person that put money down for shit, y'all. Um, be careful of that. 
I want to say be aware of that. Be careful of that. Um, this like some P. Diddy shit. You all heard what he did when, you know, Cassie was with Kid Cudi and shit. Yeah. This, this, that type of shit out here. I don't know if this person got money or what. But this could definitely be someone out here that has people. I'm hearing private investigator um, has people you watching you from afar. Could be watching you from afar for themselves. Could be um, sending other people to contact you. Fake pages is what I'm hearing and shit. Yeah. There's someone out here that's planning shit. They're, they're, they're steps ahead and shit. They got all this shit planned out, divine food. I feel like here that you're ready. <clears throat> and that's what I feel. I feel like here that you're ready. Um, nine of swords in reverse with the strength card. I ain't got no worries. He on your little Wayne shit. I don't got no worries. This is definitely someone here that you used to know. You didn't have to cut me off. Make it happen. Na, 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 na. We were nothing. I don't even need your love. You treat me like a stranger, and then, uh, uh, yeah, this that's how one feels. You treat me like a stranger. So someone out here feels like here that you just fucking dismissed them, like you was never a damn. I'm like, what did they do though? That's what I want to know. I keep hearing about about how this person feels, whatever the case could be. What the fuck did they do to to you? Um, yes, I keep hearing how, about how this person feels about you and how they feel like here that you just left them stranded, left them for dead. They basically crowned on the motherfucking curb and shit. Like, what did they do? What did they do? So, yes, that's what I was saying. This person feels like, it feels like here that this person has a fucking victim mentality. They have a victim mentality and they're going to crash out over their, over their victim mentality. And they shouldn't. This motherfucker gonna end up broke. They feel like they're on top of the motherfucking world now. And if they, if they keep spending money, investing in shit to take you down, or investing in shit to watch you from afar, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. But they feel like they're on top of the motherfucking world now. Whatever they do, right, Divine Friends, to try to um, cut you off, hit you where it hurt, or whatever the case could be collective, they will have a fucking rude fucking awakening. Um, this motherfucker might go, go broke. And that's what they're saying. They might go broke. Give me some more energy, please, for the full card in reverse. The Knight of Swords coming out. That's my Determination card coming out with the Five of Swords in reverse. The Five of Swords is kind of like a, um, a Lion to Yourself card. It's like my Selfishness card, but it's also like a, um, a Lion to Yourself card. <clears throat> and I feel like that's what this individual is doing. I just saw the King of Pentacles again. Ooh, look. Bottom of the deck here. Yeah. I just saw the King of Pentacles again. Who's right here? The King of Pentacles. <laughs> yes. Um. Yeah. This person could possibly be lying to themselves. I told you, victim mentality. Victim mentality. Usually people with victim mentalities, usually people that feel like, you know, oh, I never do shit wrong. I never did shit wrong. They did it to me. It's their fault. Usually with people with mentalities like that, there's usually something mentally wrong with them. Usually, right? Rather, it's, um, like I said, bipolar. You know, I got a lot of people in my family that's bipolar, so I can understand that part, right? I do. I have, I have some people in my family that's schizophrenic. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how I know. And I used to I used to want to go to um, school for psychology and stuff. So, yeah. Put one on my five of swords in reverse. Yeah, six of pentacles in reverse. This person is lying to themselves. I keep saying you guys, and I don't know, right? But I keep saying you guys, I don't see what this person done for you. I don't see what they did for you. What did they do? Like, I don't see it. I just see the page of pentacles, queen of pentacles in reverse. I see sorrow. Like, I see all these other things. I don't see the things that they've done for you, right? And you know, sometimes collective, it may not even be things as far as, like, you know, materialistic shit. It could be something simple as, like, you know, boosting your spirituality, right? That could be something something that this person has done for you but as far as like you know this person thinking like you know oh the mind feeling they get off the ground because of me look i don't know y'all personal relationships with this individual but yeah it feels like you're here that this person all the success that you have acquired all the glowing that you have done all the getting over some shit healing that you have done this person is saying that you got that shit from them basically that's what they're saying go on the six of pentacles in reverse please yeah consolation they feel like that you got it all from them which is it's not true 
<laughs> thief card at the bottom of the deck here. If any, this person wants that back too. If anything, this person um held you back, right? If anything, service card coming out here. If anything, your spirit guides helped you. Your ancestors helped you. God Himself or herself, you don't take it how it resonates, helped you, right? Um, definitely. I feel like if this person has, they didn't do anything. If they, let me listen, if this person has done so much for you, if they have helped you move on so much, heal so much, um, you know, be the best you so motherfucking much, why can't they do that shit for the motherfucking selves? This motherfucker is spiraling. I'm literally watching this person spiral in 3D, right? In 3 fucking D and 4 fucking K with my own eyes. I'm watching this individual spiral. I'm watching this individual crash the fuck out while you over here, divine feminine collective, divine mass with no motherfucking worries if if this person is saying that you you're glowing because of them oh you're you're on your on your best pathway because of them why the fuck can't they do it themselves and mind you this motherfucker whoever the fuck this is supposed to be the motherfucking king of pinnacles queen of pinnacles that's who they're supposed to be but they can't make the fucking selves happy and so they want to come ruin your shit man this motherfucker is a joke this motherfucker a joke. <laughs> they are. They're a joke. Give me. Let's actually let's pull another oracle card because it's my last one. Give me one last oracle card, please. Some will rise in the Venus for a collective. One last oracle message, please. The six of pentacles. I keep seeing the six of pentacles. Yeah. Mhm. Mm you see how it's this man here. And these droplets are pouring into her cup. This is what this person feels like that they've done for you. They feel like they filled up your cup collective. They do. Because this other cup is being ignored. But this person feels here feels like here they filled up your cup, you know, and then you left them to dry. Or this person feels like here that you left them to dry, right, while they sit and, you know, be depressed and sad and lonely and want to seek revenge on you and make you hurt and shit out here. They feel like here that they filled your cup. That's how they feel, right? Give me, Nyla, what are you doing? Okay, whatever. Give me four more cards. Put <laughs> one next to the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Pull one next to the Six of Pentacles in reverse for a collective. <clears throat> the Three of Swords in reverse coming out with the Page of Cups coming out. With the Ten of Swords in reverse coming out. This is the same representation, look. Literally same representation. So this is the Page of Cups and this is the Six of Cups. I don't know what to tell this person. I really don't collect them. Because on one hand, it's like, oh, I feel bad for them. But on the other hand, it's like this individual, they're not, they're not, <laughs> they're not explaining their side of the story. Or they're not explaining your side of the story. Divine feminine, you may not, oh, look, sorry, not divine feminine, but collective in general, you may be dead and past this shit, over and done with this shit. And that's probably why your your side of the story isn't coming out here. Because you possibly don't even give a fuck no more. This possibly happened, as I told you, a year or two, a couple months ago, right? Um, yeah, Six of Pentacles, Page of Cups out here. This individual feels like Divine Feminine, you let them out to rot, dry, collective, you let them out to rot or dry. I'm sorry I keep saying Divine Feminine, I'm just so used to it. Pull in this is Ten of Swords in reverse. You know what I'm hearing? Nine of Cups. You know what I'm hearing? I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. Yes, I am, yes, I am, yes, I am. So this individual possibly collective, when they were with you collective, this person possibly was the motherfucking King of Pentacles. They probably was that motherfucking man, right? But let's say that the, you and this person, you know, the situation with you and this individual did not work out. This person was on a, on a motherfucking mission to hurt you or whatever the case could be, backstab you, get revenge on you, collective, whatever the motherfucking case could be after you two separated. It, they're telling me that this could be a full circle 
moment collective because this, this this could be a moment where you know you moved on you've grown up you moved on with your life right collective you possibly have you know met new people new adventures new things new spirituality you know walking on your pathway strolling on your pathway things of that nature you know years come back months come back around this person isn't doing so good than when, when they were with you reason being is because this person wasted so much motherfucking energy getting revenge on you that they could even water their own motherfucking grass that's what it feel like they can't even water their own motherfucking grass you just scared me girl can you move get your booty hole out the camera <laughs> why are you bothering me <laughs> um yeah this person spent so much time on you collective you know trying to seek revenge to hurt you to make sure that you was at the bottom of the motherfucking barrel or whatever the case could be collective full circle motherfucking moment comes by right months go by years go by whatever the case could be this motherfucker couldn't even focus on watering their own fucking grass because they wasted so long right the full court of universe look at all that grass right it's, it's in reverse but look at all this damn grass they wasted so much time, so much energy on you, that they couldn't even plant their own fucking seeds. They couldn't even plant their own fucking seeds. So this motherfucker walking around saying, oh, I want revenge on divine feminine and divine masculine. But this motherfucker has no, they don't got no, they don't got no motherfucking money for revenge. <laughs> they don't got no time for revenge, no money for re revenge, no energy for revenge. None of that shit. None of that shit because they wasted so much motherfucking time. Thinking about you, wondering about you, you know, seek revenge on you, right? <clears throat> yeah, like I said in the beginning, God will, will shoot a whole missile through their plot, their operation, their plan, you know, when, once they try to fuck with you collective and they feel like that's what the fuck they did. They tried to fuck with you and now they're the king of pinnacles universe, the queen of pinnacles universe, the king of wands universe. They're nowhere near the emperor or the motherfucking empress, right? And this person got a fucking victim mentality. They do. They a crybaby ass motherfucker. They they was crying in the whole motherfucking region. I'm just like, well, what the fuck did you, what the fuck did they do? Well, why did the they look? Why did collective leave? <laughs> what the fuck? Why did they leave? But yeah, and that's not the only the thing is collective. They did not only just do this shit to you. They do this shit to everybody. You're not the only person. Uh, I'm pretty sure more people have stories about this motherfucker. You know. Wishing death on them and sending threats towards them and, you know, not leaving them the fuck alone and, you know, just crying, being like a no little bitch or a little, a little whiny ass bitch, right? So, yes, collective. Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> fuck. We don't got no motherfucking worries. Look, I know my divine feminists don't. They cuss me out every motherfucking day when I say watch your bag. They be like, bitch, who the fuck you talking to? So I know y'all don't got no worries. But anyways, collective, that has been your reading. I'm gonna go my ass to bed. I love you guys a lot. Make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Like I said, for personal bookings, you can email me at westtsus222 at gmail.com. I love you lots. Bye.